So here are a couple of thoughts around building an MVP and what you should be aware of when you're building an MVP. The first thing is that you shouldn't be building for everyone. That is in spite of the fact that the temptation is to try to build something that everyone who has the problem you're trying to solve wants to use. But you can't start off like this because there are different variations of users with different perceptions of the problem you're trying to solve. So for Ricci, the startup I'm building, we're trying to build something that teaches people how to use coffee chats to land job interviews. That requires anyone who decides to use our product to actually do coffee chats. And of course, everyone starts off differently when it comes to the understanding of coffee chats. And also everyone has a different threshold for how many coffee chats per week is enough. Some people will do 50 to 100 a month. Some people will do like 10 a month. We've had to really think about who our early adopters are. And that has meant being okay with a small number of initial users for our MVP. Again, as a founder, as a co-founder, as a startup founder, you don't like the idea that you're starting off very, very small. But... Based on the videos I've watched by Y Combinator, it seems like that is the way to start. To build something for a small number of people first, for us it seems to be people who already believe in the idea of coffee chats and are simply looking for a faster way to get job interviews, which is through regular outreach to senior professionals at the companies at which you want to work. The second thing is that you have to have a user experience that is extremely easy to understand. A very easy user experience makes for better engagement generally, especially when people don't really have the patience to test out your product because you're an unknown brand or people just don't know if your product will work or just people are used to fast, smooth, polished user experiences. Especially with how people see products nowadays, I think there's just less of a desire to use broken or half-baked products. So you have to make your user experience as simple as possible. That is unless you have a large team and lots of resources to devote to creating a polished user experience. But even then you risk wasting resources by polishing a user experience that you might just end up changing. So just start off simple and make something small and simple and just slowly iterate on that instead of creating something extremely complex that your users don't understand and that has a lot of this functionality but no one is ever going to use because they're just not even going to use your product in the first place. And the third thing is that an MVP is a way for you to learn about your user and that learning might end up being the fact that your MVP is the wrong thing to build. Now, the faster you adapt to the feedback that you get in regards to your MVP, the faster you will learn and potentially then be on the path to product market fit. That is what I think at least. You don't want to be in a situation where you are forcing a product upon people and then not seeing the metrics moving in your direction, not seeing the engagement you want, and still forcing people to use your product. That is not the way to learn when it comes to an MVP, what you should instead be doing is seeing how people behave in response to the MVP you've built and then learning from that behavior, not learning from what people say about your MVP. Because if you ask them, you're most likely going to get positive feedback because people don't like to give negative feedback. But you will see that negative feedback in how people behave in regards to your product. So that's just a couple of thoughts around how to build a minimum viable product. And these are thoughts that are just coming from my own experiences right now, building the minimum viable product of Ricci. It's taken quite a few months and quite a few iterations already, but I think we're on track to potentially building something for a small audience that is going to be highly engaged with the solution that we are about to launch.